Harvey. What? You're on. We're, we're all, we're live? Due to the nature of today's events, we are preempting our regular programming to bring you this urgent and breaking news. I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't do this. Today marks a new and terrible chapter in the history of our great nation. Just a few moments ago, the campaign headquarters of Governor Arnold Ross was the target of an unprecedented terrorist attack. Multiple explosive devices were detonated, killing dozens. As of yet, no one has taken credit for the bombing. The Russian government issued a formal statement today that the ships and troops positioned off the coast of Iran are part of their multinational peacekeeping effort intended to protect oil production for the world market. White House sources have denied rumors that this may be the prelude to a war in the Middle East. The growing ranks of the unemployed are becoming desperate. Food bank donations have all but stopped. Even if those people had money for food, grocery stores continue to experience critical shortages. Ranking members of both political parties continue to disagree on a course of action that will lead the country out of the dire situation that confronts us. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation is chaos. And I cannot in good conscience tell you that the government can contain the incident. Meanwhile, Western states are preparing for a superstorm on course to hit the coast by this evening. The National Weather Service advises everyone in the area to stay at home. Early reports indicate that this may well be the most devastating storm that this country has ever experienced. This seems to be the beginning of the end.